I've been sitting here for a while thinking about what to say and it's hard to find the words. I got the sad message today that uh, Tick44 or Tony as he was called of the Neebs Gaming crew passed away today after a long and hard battle against cancer. And I would like to send out my condolences to his family, his daughters and the Neebs Gaming crew. It's strange to think about that you can feel so strongly about a person that you have never met. But I do, and this is my way of honoring you. We just started out here on Ragnarok, and today I am going to tame a Vivern. We are going to the Vivern Trench to catch an egg, and I am going to do it in the only way I know how. So I'm going to do some quick leveling up, and I will bring you back when we are ready to go. Now that looks like a dirty egg sandwich right there. God damn. <laughs> All right, guys, the sun is coming up and it's nice and bright. Welcome back. Behind me here, you can see my team. I've been playing for about four and a half hours now, and I am at the level 71. Uh, I didn't quite finish with my house because I have been flying around a bit gathering some resources and trying to tame all these guys right here. So the colors have meant a little bit to me this time around, uh, especially with the flyers. So from the right we have Absro, that's the one I will be flying. I have been leveling up uh, stamina on him for the most part, because we are going to need to fly away. Uh, beside him you have Nibs, and behind me, right there, we have Doralius, <laughs> and this here is Simon, the Moss Chops here, that's the Gimp, and the Listosaurus, that is Ada. She's been helping everyone level up. I've been using Simon and the Gimp to gathering uh, narcotics and stuff like that. I've been flying around mostly on Nibs, um, because Absro is the last addition to the team. I had to fly <laughs> really far to find one that was that color and a decent level. So without further ado, I will start to fly over to the Vivern Trench. I've decided to take you uh, along the way, most of the way, because I want to do a little bit of talking while we fly over there. So uh, stay tuned and we will soon be at the trench. So as you can see I am flying on Absra right here and uh, Neeps is following us. He will be the bait. And my earliest memory of Neeps gaming is when uh, Thick introduced everyone to Ark. And that is such a long time ago I remember that because uh, Ark was not quite as it is now. It has gone through several updates since uh, that time. But I remember Thick was really enthusiastic about starting the Ark series. He wanted to play this game. This was the game for him, no doubt. And I really enjoyed watching the series, all the series, both uh, on the island, the earliest game, Scorched Earth, Ragnarok, and uh, everything that came after that. Ooh, that's a beautiful Argentavis. And I'm guessing that these colors are because it's uh, February and it's Valentine's Day. Okay, we have enough stamina. Let's keep going. Oh, look at this. It's beautiful. This game is awesome. Just look at this. The sunrise, the castle in the background right there. It's awesome. So yeah, I have some really fond memories of uh, Neebs Gaming and Thick uh, going through Ark. And uh, I, I've been following them for quite some time, uh, many years. And uh, I think Ark was the first thing I saw of them. And um, I remember back when YouTube was in its infancy, <laughs> it was quite new back in 2007, I think. I always started to think, yeah, maybe I should uh, start a YouTube channel. That would be fun, wouldn't it? 
But I never had the confidence or... Uh, the, what can I say? Yeah, I never had the confidence and I didn't dare to put myself out there. I, I thought it was scary, I didn't think I was good enough and I was afraid... Oh, stamina, sorry. I was afraid of uh, what people might think if I started to post videos and uh, yeah, I was... Uh, I was afraid to put myself out there, you know? And then I started watching Neebs Gaming. <laughs> and uh, it was these guys, they were just mucking around, having fun, uh, doing these series, and it, it, it looked like they didn't have a care in the world, you know? And so, uh, about a year ago, one and a half years ago, I started God damn it. Nibs! Are you stuck in the rock? Yeah, there you are. Stuck between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> so yeah. One and a half years ago, I started thinking, man, come on. Just do it already. And um, I put my fears aside. And my self-confidence, I, I just ignored it. And I decided to put myself out there. And... I have to thank Neebs Gaming a whole lot just for me being here making videos, man. Because uh, without them, I probably wouldn't have the confidence to do what I'm doing right now. So we are going over to the Wyvern Trench right now. And I am doing this the only way I know how. I was always so scared to go near the wyverns and try to tame them, try to steal an egg. Because, come on, let's face it, they are scary, you know? And uh, then I saw Thick <laughs> on one of his solo missions, which he went on quite frequently, you know? And he was like, I am going to get that wyvern. And this was about the time uh, when uh, Thick killed off Cooter. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I remember that so vividly. Uh, he took Cooter with him, and Neebs was so in love with that bird. And we all were, right? Cooter was awesome. And uh, <laughs> they made such a big deal out of it as well. And when he got Cooter killed, I remember, and I'm sure many of you did also, I was thinking, all right, come on, it's time to kick him off the tribe and let him fend for himself. And it, it, they made such drama out of it, you know? It was awesome. And even though I was rooting for <laughs> Thick to be kicked off the team, I was still following along with him and rooting for him and his crazy ideas after that and it was from him that i started to um, try out the uh, pteranodon to get the wyvern you know or uh, the wyvern eggs I'm, i should say so my first wyvern egg i ever got i used a pteranodon i flew into the wyvern trench i got the goddamn egg and i died of course of course i died the Wyvern flew after me, I wasn't fast enough, I didn't have enough stamina, I had to land and <laughs> try to gather my stamina, and I had no chance. But eventually, I did it, and my first ever Wyvern, I got on the back of a Pteranodon, and that's all thanks to Thick and his ideas, and that's the way I've been doing it ever since. So here we are. And the Weaver Trench is right over there in front of me, as you can see. And that is where we have to go. I haven't uh, had a bait Pteranodon with me before, so that's gonna be different. Uh, I wonder if uh, Neebs here is going to get in the way, or if <laughs> everything is going to uh, go as planned. Anyway, uh, let's uh, get going and see what we have to deal with. So, I've been Watching uh, Neebs playing Seven Days to Die also, I've been watching the Subnautica series, uh, even though it's just Absro and Neebs, though Absro is the only one playing while 
Neebs uh, is kind of on uh, a radio frequency or something. Okay, there is our first Vivern. That looks like a Poison Vivern egg, though. Um, and uh, the Seven Days to Die series, I think, is really good. Even though I, I don't uh, remember as much of that as I, as I do of Ark, because uh, the Ark series I have seen uh, probably multiple times the super cuts and everything. And um, uh, one thing I remember so good is when they started Scorched Earth. Now, this was before they made uh, the barn and everything. And um, uh, Thick made his little base down at that ravine area, you know, where there was wa water. And of course, that makes sense, right? It's a desert area, you need water. But there, <laughs> that's also the place where all the uh, bad creatures are, and you have the creatures falling down from above. And um, yeah, we all knew how that would go. And they had such a big fight about that place and how they should move and find a new base area. And oh yeah, it it was great entertainment. And Thick, he was so determined. On staying there. I can understand why though. Can. Okay, let's land right here. We are quite hot. But we need to do a little bit of a uh, reconnaissance. Now, there are no wyverns right here. We need to find a nest where we are more or less alone for a little while so we can snatch up the egg fly away. So I will fly really slow just to not use up any stamina. Just see what we can see. And uh, yeah, by the way, <laughs> welcome to the Wyvern Trench. This is uh, clearly not the place to be. We are too hot and uh, there is our first Wyvern. Now we are probably going to have to do this a couple of times. Because, uh, you sh Whoa, the Wyvern died! Oh, that's such luck! Died in the lava. Right. Um, yeah, because uh, the eggs, when they have been on the map for a while, they tend to spoil, or they tend to be spoiled when you pick them up. Now, let's see here. This is a place where they, there can be a nest. Which there is not. God damn it. This is dangerous. Um God damn it, Neebs. You're in the way. Let's see here. Okay, let's try to fly a little bit inward. Check on the other side. We need to keep it oh there's one. There's one. Okay, let's go over here, try not to get noticed. If we do, we will sacrifice Neebs. Um, no nest right here. What the hell is this? Just a room? No, it's not what we want. Okay, he is, he is in the way. There is a Vivern. Let's uh, fly up a bit, try not to catch his attention. Oh shit! We need to go! Take Neebs! Take Neebs! There's more! Any eggs? Okay, he's after Neebs. <laughs> That's oh, there we go! Oh, we can take this. Oh crap! Oh, that's a lightning wyvern. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Neebs. Okay. I think he's after Neebs. Let's try to catch the egg before uh, he dies. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, Neebs is dead. I'm going for the egg. 
There we go. And let's go. Fly fast. Oh, we are heavy. No! Uh, uh drop. Fly. Fast. Faster. Go, 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 go. We got it. We got it. Oh, shit. Oh, there's a giga. Nope, nope, nope. That's a big nope. Oh, crap, he's behind me, isn't he? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Let's fly around. No. Oh, we have no stamina. Come on, take this. Oh, no. Come on, take this Bronto. There we go. And I will run. No, he's after me. No, god damn it. <laughs> okay. You have stamina now, right? Let's go. Got a little bit. We got the egg. Oh man, is he behind us? I I don't I don't dare to look. We need to go. And we are so slow. Oh, I should have leveled up some weight. Oh no. Oh he's coming. Oh he's coming. Come on, get some stamina. <gasps> oh boy! Look at that! Oh yeah, he's coming. Go, 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 go! Ow! We can do this! We can do this! <laughs> God damn it! No! 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 Into the trees! No! We are going to die! Oh, there we go. Okay, run! Run! I'm going to run! Just like Simon does! <laughs> Into the trees! Into the trees! Oh no! Bronto! Save me! No! <laughs> okay, back to the Tyrannodon! <laughs> God damn it! Oh, this is so bad! He's right there! No! Oh, Bronto, save me! I'll just stay here for a little while. Okay, where's my Tyrannodon? Oh, man. I don't remember. I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm tired. Where is my run? Oh, there he is. We can do it. We can still do it. Run away. Run, run, run. Oh, stamina is full. We are a little bit slow. Come on, come on. Get our health up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna take a look. Oh, he's after us! Oh, god damn, oh, there's a Giga. No, that's not a Giga. That's a Karka. God damn it. We still have a little bit of stamina. Just gonna fast level up some weight. See if we can get a little bit more speed. Oh boy. Oh man, my muscles are so tense right now. <laughs> Is he after us? Oh, he's after us still. Okay, let's find a good place to stop. Where I can get some uh, water. And uh, Absro here can get some stamina. Oh boy, look at that, he's coming! Oh, we need to go, I don't know. I don't think we are going to survive this. Oh! Save me, Diplodocus. Oh man. Oh, he stopped. No, he's still coming. Come on, get the stamina up, get the stamina up. There we go. There we go. Come on, come on. Oh, 
can't wait anymore. Let's go. Man, this is sick. Come on. Come on. We can do this. Can't believe he's still after us. Oh, he's coming. Shit. Yeah, we're not gonna make it. Oh. What are you doing? Okay, we can go. Fly away. He stopped at those uh, horsey boys. Maybe he uh, lost our scent. If so, we are safe. <laughs> oh man. This, this is the way I felt when I saw Thick do this with the Pteranodon, and he actually made it. He survived. Oh man. Oh, there he is. Okay. Okay. Can we stand here and get some stamina? He's still after us, though. Okay, come on, come on. Okay, we should go. We should try to go while we can. Get up into uh, the Redwoods. We don't have much stamina left. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is exactly how I felt when I watched Thick do this. Man, the suspense, the drama. It was awesome. He was a great gamer. Okay, let's stop here. No, are you kidding me? Okay, let me get some stamina back and we will fly up into the Redwoods right now. We can probably lose him up here, if we are lucky. And uh, let's hope we don't... Uh... No! No, please don't! Please! Oh, man! Get him stuck behind the trees, come on! And hope there is no Thyla right here. No, he's right behind us. Oh, I thought this would work! It seemed like he was losing interest. No. Oh no, we are dead. Oh, we are done. Okay, run. No, ow. Oh, that's bad. Take this weird deer thingy. Oh no, Abstro is dead. Oh, this is so unsafe. We are so dead. And we are tired. Oh no, Thai. No, what are you? What are you? Oh, I don't have anything. Oh, I'm dead. Perlovia. Damn it. Run away. Don't fall. Don't fall. Hey. <laughs> God damn it! Okay, we respawned. Here we are, naked and afraid. Oh, uh, uh, let's see. I do have a lot of things right here. Right, let's see what we can craft. We should have some more stone, though. Come on, come on. Hello, guys. <laughs> that's all that's left of Neves. God damn it! Oh man. All right. Let's craft up, Let's see what we can do. Okay, there we go, we have some stuff. And the plan right now is to gather up some things, <laughs> resources, to craft a new Pterandon saddle, get a Pterandon as quickly as possible, and then we will fly back to where we died and try to get our stuff. Now, the dragon or Vivern will surely be around there. We will try to uh, go around that get our stuff, get the egg, and hopefully we can um, breed up a Vivern. Man, we got a long way to go. 
<laughs> to get our stuff. And it's in the redwoods. That's great. And I know now what I did wrong. I should have tossed everything. Everything on my hotbar right here. I should have tossed it. It weighs a ton. And maybe, maybe we would have been fast enough. There we go, Neebs 2 is up and running and it suddenly got very dark here. Let's gamma up a little bit. There we go. Uh, let's get um, all the Pteranodons to follow us. Oh, come on. Pteranodons, Pteranodons are so annoying. <laughs> okay, let's uh, get back home. Before I had um, a saddle on both of my Pteranodons just to uh, keep them uh, a little bit more safe so uh, the Viburns had a little bit more to work with. I did not believe that <laughs> that one goddamn Wyvern would chase us forever until the ends of the earth and it did. It really did. Hello. Hello. All right, Neebs number two. I'm gonna level up weight on you. Let's see how we are doing. Halfway there. Oh man. It's probably gonna... Yeah, you know. Let's um, get rid of some stuff. Just stopping here to get a little bit of stamina. Are you okay, guys? <laughs> All right, let's go see if we can get the egg. Oh no, that's an alpha wyvern. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's go, guys. Is he behind us? Oh man, look at them. So many. And yeah, there were an alpha wyvern. Oh, we are not going to mess with that. Not in a million years. Oh, that's so bad. Hello, sir. Titanosaurus. Dropping from the sky. Hey. We are uh, missing one. Oh no. Is he fighting that dragon? Okay. Okay. Anthony is lost. Let's keep on going. Yeah, good boy, Absro. Good boy. A little bit close though. That is our stuff. Very nice. Can't see him though. Alright. Let's uh, be a little bit careful. Oh please, let the egg still be there. Okay, it looks safe. Safe-ish. Right. Let's take a look around. Come on, Absro. Not so close. Okay. Let's grab our stuff. We have the egg. Oh, ho, ho. level 45. It's not the best level, but we have it. God damn it, we did it. Let's see. Uh, we need to uh, drop some stuff. Um, there we go. Okay, can we fly? We can fly. Oh, yes. Yeah, buddy. All right, I will see you back at the base, people, where we will hatch the egg. Oh, that's a nice Quetzal. Damn. Look at those colors. Hello.
And here we are. Finally at home. We did our mission. We got the egg. Now it's time to hatch it. And I will make sure not to eat the egg. Drop. Now. Too cold. Of course. There we go. Torches are lit. Let's try to drop the egg once again. Go. Oh wait, Jesus. Now. Too cold. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> it's incubating. Three minutes. <laughs> God damn it. Oh man. It's gonna die when it uh, hatches. Come on, this is crazy. Oh, we have incubation at least. Let's uh, try to be safe about it when it hatches. And I will bring you back when it's out of the shell. Alright, five seconds left. I experimented a little bit with the fires here just to see what I could put out. There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. It's imprint. Welcome to Ragnarok Thick 44. Are you completely stuck? Sorry. Oh, it wants to cuddle. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, there we go. You are not stuck anymore, are you? <laughs> I must say that the Lightning Wyvern are my favorite. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Oh, you want to go on a walk? Come on, boy. Oh, he's so cute. Come on. Oh <laughs> yeah, let's see if we can get a full imprint. We need two more, I think. Just hope you are worthy of being named Thick44, my dear friend. Oh yeah. It's not bad to have a Wyvern at day four. Is it day four? Day six, sorry. <laughs> day six. Let's get the sunset right there. Take a little picture. Yeah, buddy. All right. He's fully imprinted. And he is matured. Welcome to the tribe. Okay, guys. Here he is in all his glory. We did what we set out to do. And this... Is my tribute to Thick44. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you all for watching.